Probably it was your first time. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We're getting this whole project together. Hot wax. Was it difficult to introduce mm -hmm. the open it? Um, Triple Mike Eisner. Love it. And Don Simpson. Vice President of uh, from the beginning. But when you think about what you're going to make a movie about rock, it costs four million dollars. And that's a a major motion picture and it's directed by quantity for sure it's real hard but I'm going to have to go ahead and how did you finally do it? how did you finally bring it around to see what it was all about? I guess I guess so there were some real close times uh, where it would have been. Right, right, right. Right after the last night. Yeah. Yeah. And now, of course, they're, they're obviously behind it, but behind it, they're giving it a terrific pitch with all kinds of publicity and so forth. Um, right. yeah. But you know, um, they, they knew after, after it was, as soon as they saw it, they knew, they knew it was so far from us. So they, uh, they have to think about the audience, and we know that the bulk of a major, uh, of a major picture audience is uh, young people. Were you and, able? Uh, were you able, or how were you able, Joy, to show them that you had a film? that could appeal to this mass audience because obviously we could expect so many people to be up in the 50s and the rock and roll era to be enough of an audience. So I think they thought the kids would, would get with it. So, I mean, I think we look at Happy Days and we're going to say it's the 50s and I, I'm sure it's the kids that support the show. I think it's just for this audience they're waiting for maybe about that time, that time. I'm sure they said, I don't know. What was it about that era? Yeah, and you aren't so much. That's not exactly your era either. It's very innocent. It was the beginning of something. It's always in the beginning of something that's real, that's real, um, um, New, fresh, it's done differently, it's exciting. It's always the beginning of something very exciting. If it's something that turns out to be something terrific. The music, I love the music. No, I thought the music was sensation. I thought it was real, rough, raw, rock and roll. And it's different. Not only, not, not better, but it's different. Rock and roll is, is, is a different rock and roll. It's a wonderful song. I thought it was romantic. I think it was a romantic play. The song is wonderful, fun, and it's romantic. Do you think this will have any impact on radio station programming? <laughs> I hope so. A <laughs> <laughs> uh, radio station disc jockeys? A radio station and disc jockeys. I mean, you know, the people who program the station decide what the format will be, and it will be great themselves. Well, I think it's this is not going to stop what's happening now and take anybody back there. Some of what was there might influence some of what's here right now. You know, the discharges in Dallas, the convention, were very... were with it. They were with it at all the music, and they were, they were rocking out to the music. So it still has a lot of passion for a lot of people. The music affects you, it doesn't matter if it was just the way the music is today, so whatever you feel, smooth stuff, to, you know. How else would you still be enjoying those cold quarter things, you know, it's just for the same sure, thing. For so sure, for sure. Good things, well and good. For sure, and I think that a lot of those songs then are covered now, by, uh, Linda Ramsey covered 
and Buddy Holly songs and stuff, and him and had major hits with him. And, uh, I'm pretty sure that the songs can be the good songs can be you know would be covered by other people. I I, I don't know. Fred, in the film, at the end, you had a call that said uh, that uh, I'm free was indicted and. Um, that when he moved to California and that he died penniless. Now, some people in the first place don't know who Alan Free is or was. Most, most people yeah. don't know. Uh, so, indicted, was that the reference then back to the payola? Is that what you were referring to? That he was? Yeah, it was because of payola. Yeah. Right. Payola wasn't real. Remember, it just happened at that time. McClellan Committee and uh, all that just happened. It wasn't. I mean, it all happened then. It wasn't something that they were doing. Probably, he didn't even know the word, probably. Mm -hmm. Payola. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It was money being paid to people to do certain things. For or certain favors, favors or whatever. Yeah. It, it was a way of doing business, I think, back then. I think that that's, it, it was, before it was Payola, it was just a way of doing business. Well, if you're advertise my product, I'll the food the food never paid a recipe to the ad. That's what was terrific about food. Food mm -hmm. didn't have the record. Uh, I mean we I always tell stories by certain people that you know I was I was mild that you can let this ride. Uh, I didn't like the record. No? I'm done. Oh yeah, I, 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 I tried to show that a little bit more. I said, "Hey guys, we got to play this guy doing TV right there." But then, nope. Uh, I play rock and roll. It's just, uh, to, 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 to the degree that uh, uh, he did that was one of the characteristics about him that I personally liked as a man. And, uh, Why did he die ten because he didn't, ha he didn't get that much money. There were a lot of people that got their hands on it. Mm -hmm. We gave a lot of money away. We gave a lot of money away. Yeah. Uh, to the artist. You know, she was an artist. You know, artists don't always control the things that we have. It just wasn't a really terrific business plan. Is that what you're saying? That money just kind of away from you. He didn't care. He didn't think it was going to be tomorrow. Yeah. He was the king. How did he die? Uh, he died. He died. He died from uh, oh, okay. so what? Mm -hmm. He was a heavy drinker. And he was a heavy drinker. And he was a heavy drinker. And he was a heavy drinker. Although, you know, drinking a little bit on the job wouldn't necessarily be you know, drunk. So Remember, he had it all. He was the king of rock and roll, and they took it all away. Like that. He was the king, and then he was nothing. And so he had to deal with that. That's what you have to live with. Sorry. So what kind of person is it today about the king? Very nice talking to you. Good luck to you. Thank you very much. Did it work with you? Thank <laughs> 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 you.